Lights, camera, action. In a joint venture, the U.S. Curling Association and the World Curling Federation teamed up with the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation to produce an Olympic primer to educate, entertain, and introduce viewers to the 500-year-old sport of curling. The popular theory on future growth for curling around the world is that the American market is key. We have a great game, we have a fantastic game, and we want Americans to fall in love with this game just like we have. Under its working title, Rink and Rock, celebrity athletes, including previous and potential Olympians from a variety of summer and winter sports, went head-to-head -head with two USA curling teams. The U.S. curlers had a slight advantage. I've been curling, oh, since I was 10. I've been curling for 20 years. 18 years. Since fourth grade. Grade six. Oh, I started uh, about 30 years ago, so it's been a long time. How are the celebrity athletes doing after a quick course in curling from the pros? Well, I'm already sweating, and I'm getting out of breath because, you know, it takes balance and obviously control. When I first came in today, I was thinking I could just go throw it down there and get right in the bullseye and everything, and I got it, I think, in the, what they call the house once or twice today. I was trying to remember all of the things that I was supposed to do, and I only remembered one thing, and so I haven't gotten very far with my rock but I love it, it's great. I think it's more physical than most people realize, because you, you have to push off, and it's really hard physically to maintain motionless. You know, you push and then you just slide so steady. It takes a fair amount of muscles. People say, oh, it's like bowling, and they, oh, anyone can do that, and then you take them out there and shh. Ah! Easy, eh? It's gonna be perfect. Anyone can dribble a basketball. Oh, don't tell her that. I'm in the house. It was a lot of fun, you know, it was hard. Curling is uh, its definitely a lot harder than it looks, but uh, we had a great time. We learned a lot from the experts. I think they're, they recognize there's a little bit of challenge to it, but um, they're, they're catching on pretty well. They're able to get the rocks in play and everything. They might not end up right where they want them to, but they're definitely getting the hang of it. I saw Natalie Williams of the WNBA make a double takeout and got the crowd on their feet. It was just outstanding to see. I've been impressed with how quickly the uh, non-curling athletes have taken up the sport. They have quite a big, I mean, I think, improvement. <laughs> In only like less than an hour, they did quite well. The athletes, junior curlers, and crew came together to show the fun people have participating in this mentally and physically stimulating game, also emphasizing that it's a sport for all ages to enjoy. There's a saying it's from 8 to 80, you can play curling, and um, it's a lot like golf. You can start young, you can play it your whole life, and um, you can compete at any level. You can be a social curler, just like you can be a social golfer. You can practice every day and try and be Tiger Woods. If somebody came here with a really pumped up macho attitude and said, I'm probably the toughest guy to ever walk on this ice, some 120 pound woman is going to totally humble them because it's not a matter how strong you are, how fast you are. It's a matter of about skill and art and the mental aspects of sport. We're truly athletes and it's a true sport. And even though everybody can play it and it's a lot of fun, but to get to the, our level, you know, it takes a lot of work.